Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my art and graphic design channel and today is a fun video. We are going to review every single book that I have in my graphic design book collection. You guys have been loving the design book content here and over on my Instagram. Definitely go check out my Instagram. But yeah, so I thought I would just honestly review all of the ones I have and just make it a one-stop place this is the video to watch it all and see what I think and see my recommendations for graphic design books. I don't have all the newest ones I haven't bought in a while. Maybe after this I'll buy a few and we can make like an updated video on new great ones. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want to see that so I can know if I should spend the money. Um, but I do love having graphic design books in my collection. Okay, so let's get to it and just get reviewing into every single book I have. It's quite a lot. And these are in no particular order because I'm going to grab them from up here and place them on this side when I'm done. And it's just kind of gonna be chaotic and that's how it's gonna go. Okay, so first on the list is Stop Stealing Sheep and Figure Out How Type Works. Find out how type works, sorry. Um, so this is by Eric Speakerman. I have the third edition one and I'm not going to link, I'll have the titles all in the description, but I'm not going to make specific links do your own googling do your own searching for these i'm not trying to sell you anything anywhere and i don't have like affiliate links in the description and it's so complicated now with countries i live in australia i got these in the us so it's kind of complicated how the cover's gonna look and everything so just look up the title and the author and you will find it where you can buy it because a lot of you are from different countries too so anyway <laughs> let's talk about it this book honestly is one of my favorite type books because it is a very realistic fun way of looking at type. I'm just going to do some scanning through right here. We're not gonna cut to tons of specific pages. I don't really want to expose too much um, just because I feel like I have done that in the past too much. But anyway, what I love about this book is that it talks about different concepts and different fonts and typefaces and the difference of those and just what you can actually do with them and different styles and how that creates different looks and feelings for your designs. So type is important and this is how to use it specifically in real world scenarios. It really shows lots of different practical uses of type and it really helped me figure out where to actually use different choices in my typography and it really helped me in becoming advanced in it. So this book is great for actually utilizing typefaces and figuring out different styles. Okay. Don't get a job, make a job. This is by Jem Barton, and you guys know I'm laughing because I literally talk about this book so much. I've talked about it all over my channel, all over all my social media. I love this book because I created a job for myself in the design world that was unique, and it it helped me along the way, I gotta be real with you. But basically, it has a lot of different ways that you can create your own job and find your own path within des the design field, but also in creative fields. It's actually not just specifically graphic design. And it just really goes into the deep dive of different people who have had success in lots of different ways. And I think it just makes you feel a bit better about not following a traditional path or when you feel like things just aren't working out. Honestly, it can be very motivating. So I definitely recommend this book for young people who are just getting started in their career and want to know what to do. So this is not a specific graphic design book. Obviously it's an art book. It's about performance art. This is by Rosalie Goldberg. I kept it from school. I studied this and this book really changed my perspective on performance art and what I thought of it. And I did have a lot of issue with it before. I just thought it was kind of dumb sometimes or cra too crazy. And I take that back because I read this and it helped me have a better perspective on art. So if you're just interested in art stuff too. I mean, I talk about it. It's not all graphic design here. It's also art and my interest in art history. So performance art from futurism to the present. Love this one. And yeah, it's, I mean, it's very detailed and kind of like academic, but it's a good one. Okay. The Elements of Typographic Style by Robert Bringerst, an iconic designer. I mean, an expert in the field. This is a very, very detailed book. So I would say if you're not really into the academics of this type of stuff in, in type, um, you might not like it. It can be a little bit drawn on, so it's not for everyone. If, I know with like designers and creatives, you want a lot of visuals. This is not so much like the visual book, but if you're wanting to study more into typography, it's a obviously very good one. It's not something I come back to a lot, but it's something that I have. I got it for a class, and even then I didn't find it 
my favorite. So yeah, up to you, but <laughs> I'm just I'm just talking about all my books here. So it's not really my fave in my collection. Have I been ranking these? Am I supposed to be ranking these like different, like five out of five? Those last few, sure, five stars. I don't know, this is three. <laughs> We're not doing that. Thinking with Type by Ellen Lupton. I've always recommended this book. I love it if you are getting into typography. It's very, very helpful. And I will say that like Stop Stealing Sheep is a little bit similar to this, but this has even more info into the creation of type and that one is more use cases. So um, if you want to learn just a bit more about actually creating type and working with it, um, then it's for you. Typographic systems, I have a whole video on this one and kind of laying out the grids and using type in a grid system. And I love this book. I've talked about it before many times and I think it is very helpful for figuring out grids with type. And I, I know you can probably tell a lot of my books are about type. It's because it's like my main interest in design. Um, I should probably get more visual books in general, but these ones are just so helpful and I've really become an expert in typography because of them. Okay, okay, graphic design, the new basics. This is by Ellen Lupton, so the, like the last book, and Jennifer Cole Phillips. So this is a really helpful one. Ellen Lupton is such a good writer and her books are just really, really helpful. This is the book that covers all the aspects of design, but also has all the exercises. So you guys have probably seen my video where I talk about all the design exercises you can do and I have made a reel about it and I've made a long video and both of them have kind of blown up and done really, really well. Like some of my top videos out there, top content. And it's because of this book. This book has the best design exercises to just keep your skills sharp stay up to date with everything and i always come back to it definitely check those videos out i'll have them linked um but yeah this one has tons of exercises and tons of helpful tips and it just really goes into everything like spacing hierarchy color pattern like everything that you could think of is in here and that's why i love it okay how to be a graphic designer without losing your soul love this one as you can see i've tabbed it a bunch i talk about it a lot as well um but with this one i will say that some of the information i feel is a bit outdated for getting a job um maybe there's a new edition out there this is by adrian shaughnessy um i'm not sure because i've had this one for such a long time and i haven't looked up the new one but there's a lot of info in here about working in different career paths, which is great, and how to kind of navigate that, and it's still very helpful, but some of the tips, you know, like interviews and stuff like that, so much has changed in the world. The world has gone crazy in different ways, like interviewing is a lot harder, the job market is a lot harder, so yeah, um, take this with a grain of salt, but it's still a really good one, and I think you will enjoy it if you are a younger designer looking for a job, like this can definitely kind of calm your mind. It always helped me and look where I am now. I'm doing great. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> okay, we're getting to the hefty ones. <laughs> so this one, <laughs> and this is by Philip B. Meggs and Alston W. Purvis. Meg's history of graphic design. I mean, it really just has the entire history. So if you really are interested in learning about the history of design and really just getting academic with it. This is the book. I mean, it's a huge reference book. It's got tons of images. It's got tons of info about like history throughout the years. It talks about a lot of 20th century art. And I think that's very helpful to understanding the, the world of graphic design um, and just contemporary art in general. So it's a great one if you're really looking for a history book. That's my opinion on it. Um, it's not something I look at a lot, but it probably should be. Um, yeah, so it's like, if I wanna study, I can come back to this and really like study a topic and it's in here. Ooh, okay, that one requires some muscle. Okay, Designing Type by Karen Chang. This one is really about developing typefaces. So actually making them, actually drawing them out, actually creating what your typeface would look like if you were developing one and this can be very helpful if you want to get into type design type design is a great niche you can learn the anatomy of type in here you can create different styles and learn all about that in here and it's honestly just so helpful like look at this this is a whole page just about spacing of the middle of an s so yeah this is about really developing typefaces and if you are interested in that definitely check this book out, grab this book, keep it in your collection and refer to it because it's how you can get really good. I personally would love to create typefaces and I really 
love the designers that do it. I, I like to look into foundries and people who are creators of type and I'm just so jealous of what they do because it, it is hard, it's, it's time consuming, but it's very rewarding. And I've done it before myself in a class. So if you can get your hands on this and get to work and use online resources as well, I think you can do it too. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, Design Elements, a Graphic Style Manual by Timothy Samara. This is a great book because it basically covers the main aspects of graphic designs. This is design elements, breaking it down to form and space, color, typography, image, and layout. That's, I mean, that's all you need to know. I would say that the graphic design, the new basics is probably a bit more detailed to what this is, but this one still does have a lot of a lot of imagery and a lot of inspiration, a lot of help in it as well. Um, so it's up to you which one you want to get. I would say probably the new basics has a bit more like exercises and stuff, but this one is a great one that I always look back at for images and just ideas of what to do and how to do it. So it's definitely a helpful resource, but the other one probably has a bit more range. But if you do feel like you're a beginner, this one's definitely helpful for beginners. Okay, and last but not least in my collection, Graphic Print Production, A Guide to Graphic Print Production. This is by Kaj Johansson, Peter Lundberg, and Robert Ryberg. So this teaches you all about print. So if that's something you wanna get into, it's a very specific book, the same way designing type is. This is all about actually printing out your work. There are probably a lot of online resources as well, but it's a great resource to have. Um, but this one, I will say it feels a little bit outdated um, just because of the type of like photos they have as references and what your Adobe programs look like and all of that, like what your printing looks like. It's, it can be a little bit outdated, so there might be new editions of this as well, but I do think it's a really helpful one for learning to print and learning all of that aspect of design. That's also a huge niche if you want to work in that type of field. This is probably a go-to for that one. But is it not the most entertaining? Yes, it's not the most entertaining. Wow, what a way to end it on this one. <laughs> It's like my heaviest, so it was at the bottom. <sighs> okay, we made it through and we talked about all of them and I told you what was good and bad about all of the books I have in my collection. And hopefully I can add to my collection soon and we can talk more about design books because I know that it's so helpful for a lot of people and you don't always need an internet resource for everything. Sometimes it's nice to have things physically and also just to keep them around and always have them on your shelf to look back at. Because when I read books in general, I don't use any digital format. I love having the physical book, so I love to have that as well with graphic design, even though it feels like such a digital thing. <laughs> like, it's just nice to have it in person and have some tactile things in life as well. So yeah, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like and please let me know if I'm missing any in my collection that I should have because I'd love some recommendations for books that you know about and check them out myself. And I will have all the book titles in the description, like I said, in case you missed something or missed a title. It's all down there. You can scrub back through the video. Let me know in the comments which one you would like to pick up the most and which one you're most into based off of like what you're into in graphic design. I love to chat about that stuff. So let's talk in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Not me forgetting a whole book after finishing filming. Okay, this is the last one, graphic design sources. It's just a bunch of imagery. It's probably not my favorite, honestly. <laughs> I don't know, it's not my fave. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs>